皆さん、こんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast. So today,、uh, um, I guess, I'm not, what should I say, directly angry or anything, but it is something that I wanted to also make very clear.、Uh, I made a podcast talking about、um, a topic where people started calling sexist because I talked about the very low、um, participation of men in housework. And from there, I've been receiving a few comments, and also, this is something I've been thinking for a really long time. And I really hope this way of thinking will help more people because I know that there's a lot of people suffering from depression and sadness and everything, stress from online comments and such. So, I do want to、um, share this idea with you to try to make more people、um, happier. If there's someone For example, nearby you who is、uh, hurt from you know, online stuff like that, please let them know about my opinion. I'm hoping it will make them feel better. To make a long story short, I consider online comments or messages to be the same as someone coming up to me and telling me it. Now, the reason why I want to emphasize this again is because there are many people, many people, I guess you would consider them trolls maybe, who come up to me and tell me. Sometimes, whenever, for example, a moderator deletes their、uh, comments、um, on during the chats on the live streams, or sometimes、uh, it's in my comments of my videos, there are people who come up to me and say that、um, using a different account, they would say that, oh, this guy deleted my comment, you know, or stuff like that, or sometimes DMs too. I would block certain people, of course, and.、Um, And then they criticize me sometimes on, S- on social media, saying that Let's Ask Shogo is like, you know, you, you guys have to remember that this guy is the kind of guy that deletes comments, you know, or messages. And I want to make something really, really clear here. Again, I said, even on the internet, I consider the messages, what's written there, the content is as if it's something that、uh, someone came up to my face in real life and said to me. Yeah, so it is psychologically proven, by the way. Brain science have proven that when you are on the internet, without,、uh, while you're hiding your face, hiding your real name,、um, people tend to get more violent, by the way. It is proven, scientifically proven, that people tend to get more violent. Because I know for a fact that there are tons of people coming up to me and saying, you know, random stuff、um, in my comments, you know, stuff like that. But Hardly anyone comes to my DMs. And I say it almost like in every live stream, or I have it inside the description box for every video、uh, that I am happy to exchange mes- messages through Instagram, right? But no one, no matter how much they criticize me, hardly no one comes to my DMs to give me messages, which means they're afraid. They're scared, right? To, and they, they believe that their claims, what they're saying, is not that strong. Because if it was something that they desperately want me to change, why don't they just send me a DM, right? Directly tell me that I would be happy, not so happy, I guess, to have a conversation with them. But, anyways, that's how it is. And I am going to, no, let me give you an example. If there was someone when you were walking outside on the streets, you don't even know that person, that person come up, comes up to you and that person tells you,、um, I hate how you look. Like, for example, like, like that. I, I really hate your voice. I was listening to your voice over there and I hate it. Or I actually、um, listened to you having a conversation about your views towards politics in a cafe and I hate it. I seriously think it's wrong and I really am、uh, disgusted that you were talking that in public. Imagine someone. Outside walking up to you who you've never ever talked to before, saw him before, and told you that. What would you do? What I would do is immediately walk away, run away, probably, because that is way too creepy and very scary, right? I consider the internet,、uh, online stuff like YouTube or social media, to be the same. Why do you think that your opinions and what you talk about will be equally treated when you don't have respect? That's very, very strange, don't you think? Again, thinking of the example I just explained, it would be very weird if that person suddenly came up to you on, in public and said that to you and came up to you again and said, Why are you not listening to me? 
this is not fair. I would say, um, please, please walk away because this is very, very awkward and it's very impolite, right? I consider the internet to be exactly the same as this situation because, because the distance between reality and online situations is getting closer and closer, right? And with new technology coming out in the future, you know, all the uh, the Web 3.0, we say, you know, there's going to be, you know, the distance is going to get even closer than that, right? So we really need to, um, should I say, have a new mindset about this. So I, I'm here to clearly make a statement to say that I am going to be blocking people. Of course, I'm going to be deleting comments. Of course, it's for my own mental and physical safety. It's just like how I would run away if some person randomly came up to me in on the streets to protect my kids, to protect my team, myself. I'm going to run away without having a conversation, obviously, because that is the, you know, it's just really creepy and scary, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing, you know. I, you know, the thing emotionally, what I wanted to say to you guys today, say to you guys, uh, share with you guys is that why do you think that you, you, you have the right to say something to someone without any respect or without any care? Why do you think that your comment is going to be equally respected as other people when you're hurting someone? Obviously, no. The people who, there are some people who have like different beliefs than I do. That's completely fine. Of course, I'm just one person on this planet. It's impossible to have the exact same ideas for everyone, right? That, that's not healthy, you know, as a, as a human society. It's completely fine. But coming up to me and uh, speaking to me as if your idea that you have inside your mind is the absolute justice, then we're not going to be having a conversation. I don't want to start a conversation, discuss with anything with such a, such a person. It's going to be a waste of my time. My time is not for you. My time is for my friends. For my viewers who love, who actually love and respect me, like the like the listeners of my podcast channel, like you. I'm sorry, but you is getting all over the place. It's starting to get confusing. But anyways, you get what I mean, right? Yeah. So this is something I really, really want to make clear. If you have any friends, like in your class, in your workplace, uh, your family is, um, for example, being hurt or depressed by comments or messages on the internet, tell them this. Tell them. If this was real life, what would you do? You would immediately run away or call the police, wouldn't you? That's exactly what you should do. That's exactly what you should do. No matter what they tell you, they might tell you again, you know, it's not uh, fair that they're blocking you. It's, um, you know, disrespectful that they're deleting your comment. Let them say that. I don't know, criminals probably outside there would probably say the same thing too. You, your top priority is your health and your safety, your family's health and your family's safety, right? Prioritize that. That's completely fine. That's okay. Just simply ignore that, right? That is my opinion. 100% I wanted to share with this, uh, with, share this with you guys. And this is the end of today's main topic, but I do want to add one more thing too. Um, I have made few podcasts before in the past where I say that I was a little bit hurt about this by this comment. I was a little bit concerned by um, someone's opinion, so on and so forth. And I always see in the comments, you know, first of all, I want to make it very clear that I'm really, really, really happy to see your comments. I um, mean, you, you taking the time, a moment in your, in your day, your really busy day to send me a message. I read everything, especially on the podcast channel. I read all of your messages in the morning. You know, it's something that I do in my daily um, routine and I really enjoy it because I get so many positive messages because I'm not promoting my, my uh, podcast channel so much, right? So I hardly block any um, keywords here on this channel, but I'm receiving so many comments and I'm really grateful. But at the same time, there's something I don't want you to do to other people. And it is saying, just ignore them. If you find someone who is hurt because of comments or messages on social media, on the internet, telling someone just ignore what they're saying is going to be hurting them. And as I explained before, I explained this once before, it's almost like someone punched you in the face in public or someone 
uh, I don't know, a really scary person came up to you and, and again told you that your face is hideous. I hate your voice. What your, your beliefs is all incorrect. It's all wrong. You know, it's all rubbish. Someone came up to you on, on the streets and told you that, right? You ran away as fast as possible because you were scared and you told your friend about it. I just met this very weird guy on the streets and that person was really scary and it was a frightening experience. And if your friend, the first thing your friend told you was, well, forget about it, you know, he's probably just a creep, just forget about it. That would probably hurt that person, wouldn't it? I mean, that that's probably not the help that person wanted or needed. If the person is going to be talking about his or her very um, scary experience, that's not the help that person needs. So, but the thing I wanted to say is that I completely understand because on the internet, you really, it's just really words, you know. But when the words are directed to you, it's almost as if you've been physically punched in the face. It hurts that much. So I really do want to have less people hurting in unintentionally hurting their friends or family by telling them, well, you know, it's just a few typed words on, on your comments on an Instagram post, right? Just, you know, forget about it. It's not that easy. That I do want to, um, what should I say, share with you um, as a, um, a, I guess, uh, a YouTuber, you know, I think it's some uh, some of the things that only a person who receives hundreds and hundreds of comments every day can explain to you. So I don't want anyone to be unintentionally hurting their friends and family. So that's another thing, um, a little bit off top off, off today's main topic, but it's something that I wanted to emphasize once again before ending this podcast. So then everyone, as I always say, the ultimate goal of my life is to make all Japan lovers dreams come true. So I know that there's a lot of people studying Japanese, willing to come to Japan to travel, study or work, or even train our traditional culture and such. However, I am very afraid that Japan will not be able to make everyone's dreams come true in the future because we're facing a lot of social problems, we are losing our traditional culture, and the younger generations who are supposed to be carrying on the good things about Japan are dying because of all the social issues being shoved against them. So I want to dedicate my life trying to make Japan a better place. I want to try to solve the social problems, preserve and evolve traditional culture, and help out the younger generations so they can have a better future. And to do that, the nearest goal I have right now is to achieve 2 million subscribers by January 2023 on my main channel. Yep, so it'd be great if you can help us out by giving us likes and comments on our videos, which will help to boost our videos to new viewers have never seen my channel before. So thank you so much for helping us out. And I always say uh, our goal is to 2 million subscribers this year, but I really think that until the end of this year, I think we'll, our main focus will definitely be YouTube. And next year, when tourism is gradually going to be coming back, um, I will definitely be um, shifting our business, main business, to other things like uh, the tourism industry, um, selling merchandise and stuff like that. But so far this year, I mean, the borders from J of Japan are gradually starting to open, but it's not definitely open enough for us to actually start a business yet and stuff. So um, we'll see how it goes. But the, in the meantime, we can, there's still a lot we can do on YouTube. So we're going to be doing that until then. So anyways, it'd be great if you can continue to help us out. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Um, Reading, again, reading the comments on the podcast channel, being able to talk with you honestly like this is really relieving me from a lot of stress in my daily life. So um, thank you so much. I wanted to say just thank you. Thank you so much for always supporting me and keeping me healthy. <laughs> now I'll, get, I'll uh, talk to you again soon. Thank you so much.